Aloha everyone and welcome back to another space weather update. My name is Alexis. This is the Ascension Diaries where I track my own consciousness as well as your own using the space weather and other timely events that are occurring in our environment. So let's get into today's video. Happy January 11th. Today is a special day for those of us who love numbers because it is month one, day 11, and we got some one one ones going on. So just about at 1.44 a.m. my time here in Phoenix, Arizona, this particular prominence came off of the sun. This is the second prominence that I've seen in the last 24 hours. About 17 hours ago, there was another post about another prominence. Now, this is all happening on the side of the sun that is turning towards us. So these prominences aren't coming directly at us yet, but if they keep up this activity over the next day and a half, we're gonna be getting more Earth-directed information each time it does so. So I'm going to show you all of this data. We also had a very large earthquake over in northern Afghanistan and we have a few other things to mention. So let's get into it, including the Schumann going nuts. So we've got lots to show you. I mean, there is lots of evidence for your symptoms right now. And what are these symptoms? It's similar to radiation poisoning. So just look up how to deal with radiation poisoning and what's going on and the symptoms of it. You may find a lot of correlations there. And you can freely go to my Telegram chat room, t.me slash Ascension Diaries chat, and hang out with all the people there 24 seven, complain about your symptoms, give everybody your hints and tips, be nice. We're all looking after each other because we're all understanding what's causing the problem. So we've made it through there. And I just had a client come through saying they just learned about space weather. They are a, a hot yoga teacher. They are a student of spirituality and they are so grateful because they began having seizures. And I was able to go, go back on all my data and find the date she had her most recent seizures and see what was wrong. And there was space weather evidence for it that would make sense to me that she was having issues. There was blacked out data one day and a very clear explosion, one of the others. So let's get into the rest of this data so I can show you. It's a few more photos of this particular ejection and another little gif here of the ejection, but the, we've, we're used to these. We've seen hundreds of these. These are pretty much one, in a dozen like they happen pretty commonly i'm not too concerned about it but now that we are in the new moon on this special day this 111 day in capricorn just wanted to inform you that we're having this new moon this fresh new energy when it comes to capricorn they are the go-getters of our society and they are the bones as you can see here in the organ section so the bones and the hair and the spleen very important for the structural integrity of the body in a way so please and your go-getter attitude so please keep a note on that have a little respect for the moon as it has its impact on all your waters we are in the blue overtone night energy here in the Mayan calendar you can see very similar energy in the higher self and the mid or like mid guard section of you I'm, I'm mixing all these words from all these different <laughs> communities but they all kind of are saying the same things so we are dealing with some white northern castle of crossing earth family we've got the fire clan we're empowering in order to dream or commanding intuition we're sealing the input of abundance with the overtone of radiance and i am guided by the power of magic today so very interesting again new moon that works out today is also the anniversary of discovering titania the largest moon of uranus by william herschel who also discovered uranus apparently all the way back in 1787 and this is what popped up on my computer this morning to let me know so we're going to look at these these names okay we've got titania oberon they were both discovered they were also later on, more so the moons of Ariel and Umbriel were discovered by William Lassell. And in 1948, finally, the moon Miranda was discovered by Gerard Cooper. So there's multiple moons of Uranus that continually weren't being addressed until just, just recently. And Uranus being kind of the symbol for the old heavens, it's wonderful to also know what moons are hanging out up there and i think this is potentially important for today's energy we're going to look into it in a few more seconds here i just want to show you the global consciousness dot really quick we had a really raw raw section of red incoherency that could have been when those prominences were coming out about you know 
17 hours ago, potentially, or even just eight hours ago. So either one of those could have been that, but there's also some coherency in and around this area, which I've noticed. Sometimes we go from extreme coherency to other extreme coherency. I've noticed that when the waves come through as well. Right now we're bodying normal energies. We're kind of in a recovery state, which is also why I'm doing this video. We're in a recovery state. Here is the earthquaking over by Afghanistan. So we're just going to get a little closer. This is in the upper tip of Af Afghanistan, which is not is a lesser known territory in my opinion. And there's a few little countries that kind of border the area, but overall it's over by K2, the mountain also, the situation. If you kind of look at it from another map, it's interesting how close it is. So we have uh, Hawaiian earthquakes as well over by the volcanic activity. We've got some earthquakes over in, we've got it in Louisiana, which is kind of bizarre over here in Pan, over here in Puerto Rico as well. Those were some bizarre ones that caught my eye. These three over here, obviously we've got California. Nope, that's not it. California, there we go. 2.9, nothing crazy. So yeah, our biggest destination and our biggest shaking right now is over here in Germ, over by Germ, Afghanistan. Okay, so we are keeping our eyes over here when it comes to earthquakes, but also, you know, Texas is getting some readings as well. Like we were seeing over by Louisiana, there was an earthquake as well. So we're just kind of, those mainland, inner land earthquakes are a little bit more concerning than stuff along the borders of the fault lines and so on. So from these prominences, I assume either one that was 17 hours ago or the one that was like eight hours ago, one of them is showing up here on the predictive model to be brushing past Earth again. So we have a few that are brushing past Earth on the left-hand side here. Here's Earth, our little yellow dot. Maybe I can make this even bigger for you. Make it even on better. Here we go, everybody on Instagram. If you wanna watch full-size videos, please go to my YouTube, by the way please subscribe to my YouTube. So we're the yellow dot in each of these little fields here. You can see the wave behavior closer and closer, what it's going to do to the surrounding area and so on. But we also get to peek at the other planets, which I'm gonna show you again in a second, a little better view of this, where the solar waves are actually going. What planets are they getting pulled towards? And you, you'll be interested because a lot of the waves are being pulled in a direction that's not where a, a vast majority of planetary magnetic energy is, which shows you again the difference between the magnetic poles and the sizes of the planets in our solar system, because even a whole bunch in one direction is not winning over, <laughs> in a way, the pull or these, these waves from the sun. It's just getting drawn out of the sun, <laughs> blasted out of the sun in a way. So we got some evidence of the 13th, 12th tomorrow, basically tomorrow the 12th into the 13th, 14th, that there's gonna be some more solar wind. So I'm gonna show you these planets like I was just talking about. And maybe you can hear the airplane going over me, but there's some loud aircraft and very low clouds today and lots of spraying yesterday over here in Phoenix too, so. There's some nice, I love watching the clouds park over top of the little mountains. It's very cute. It's like docking. I'm seeing some docking happening today. There's some, <laughs> the cloud chips are fun to watch. So, and I'm sure you're all watching them too. But here's what I meant by the sun getting pulled by some planets more than others, even though there's a whole pile of them on the side of the sun that's the opposite direction. It could be bursting and flaring out from those projections, but instead they're all going towards Saturn <laughs> and they're going towards maybe even a little bit of Neptune. Uranus is also back here, which to me, it seems like it's highlighting that this is an important position for Uranus for us right now. And this could also be pulling the energy out, but Saturn looks like it's potentially pulling the most. And you know, Saturn, definitely has its impact on the sun and the planet. And there has been some drama on Earth with groups who love Saturn as well in the last few days. So keep an eye on that. We're keeping an eye and watching over the safety of everybody that we can. And I'm also going to show you some of the symbology I, I, I did see today in the Russia charts. I don't always go here. I don't always go into the symbolic section 
of looking at these charts, but sometimes there's some pictures in here that I'm like, okay, let's, it pulls my eyes immediately. So that's kind of like that subconscious, like validation sort of energy, like, whoa, something in me is resonating with this. I was seeing this little cross down here on the charts. You can see my mouse over here at hour three in UTC plus seven over here in Tomsk, Russia. It's hard to kind of convert that in your head really quick, but just imagine this is, you know, three in the morning for them. And this is some sort of crazy little endeavor that happened in their electromagnetic field. So this just caught my eye very, very strongly. And I can see there's almost two little things here and I forget what that means. I don't know all the symbologies of all the religions. I was like most, mostly an agnostic child who was never forced into any of the religious rituals. It was more so I wasn't forced. I was allowed to make my decisions, observe and kind of be an outsider, even when it was happening around me. So the religious figures and the religious symbols coming in now, as I've generally like not engaged them and they've not impressioned me with too intense of memory or anything as a child like now coming through I'm curious about them because they literally won't go away these symbols won't go away and so these are the symbols that I'm like okay I'm gonna google this and listen and keep my ears open for all the different perspectives about these symbols and when it starts coming up so for this one I'm seeing this symbol right around another large electromagnetic amplification in our atmosphere at least over by Russia and it's just something to keep a note of there's a bunch of little baubles in here that are a little odd but that one caught my eye the most and again we're out of that episode but that was all around where the Sun was doing these these flares and so on so the energies yesterday were uncomfortable a lot of people were messaging me about their discomfort yesterday including here at my house so we got through it. I cleaned like crazy. I reset my whole office space in my room so I feel great. I was able to use that energy boost for good and for cleansing, which I hope that you guys were able to do as well. And so here's the evidence here in Italy as well that there was a little pulse coming in, but it looks like it was stronger over by Russia. They got to an amplitude of about a 56 after hour three. You can see here on the bottom, hour four was when it really started to come in. So that little cross showed up at hour three, right around here where this little pump is over here. And then the big wave of amplification really arrived, even though it was, eh, there was a previous little wave, but it didn't last as long. This, this wave had a lot more juice and it lasted over about an hour and this particular amplification happened at around hour five when UTC plus seven in the hours. So for us, if we just go and eyeball it like I usually do, so I'm just gonna reload this, make sure I've got everything all lined up properly. It wants to translate the Russian and English for me, uh, but that thankfully that option is available for internet. I love that. So. Here we go. So it's currently 8.41 a.m. my time here in Phoenix. So in my opinion, that's going to be hour nine, right about here for us. So let's just say this is hour eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. My mouse is jumping around too. Stop, mouse. It's like a dog hair on my thing. I got screwed up. Shoot. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Midnight. Eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. So around, I would say, three p.m. on the tenth of January was when this wave kind of plowed through, and we had disturbances from three to. 1, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, around 7 a.m. on the 10th. So some from 7 to about like 4, 5 p.m. here in Mountain Time, things were a little spicy, okay? And I'll tell you that, I know. And then things calmed down and then I cleaned my room during this little wave right here. <laughs> 
not during the most strong, but during the least, oh, but it was during when the frequencies were going faster. So I'm noticing, and I tried to record this the other day, but it cut it out because I think it wasn't time. But I'm trying to tell you as a scientist, 7.83, this is the first frequency of Schumann resonance. This is measuring the undulation of that frequency. It doesn't move much. It moves like a tenth of a decimal around, a hundredth of a decimal around, okay? But it's happening. And I'm watching it happen more lately. I'm watching the energy change. And this is what the argument was, is that the frequency of Earth was going to speed up. And I was like, what? I don't know how that happens. The shape of the planet has to change. Well, now I'm seeing that the shape of the planet is potentially changing with that Japan earthquake that created like 200, 250 meters more of, of land all of a sudden and so on. It just got me thinking. And now I'm seeing some evidence that this may be something's going on and something may be changing with the data, which is what I've been here to watch for. But also watch how the second and first frequency of Earth are mixing and inter intermingling during these waves of energy too. Not always, but some of the time. That's also not normal. So very strange. So the primary Earth frequency is 7.83, so it should be hanging out around here where my mouse is horizontally all the way across. Okay, so horizontally all the way across, this is where the Earth should be. This is where that white line should be hanging out. So if you notice that it's actually below, and then it shoots above, all the way to 8.6 nearly. So there's a period of where it's going really slow, and then it goes faster. So I'm noticing that too. It's like slowness, fastness. It's going so slow, that it's blending with the data with the other lines, which it doesn't normally do. The other lines don't seem to be behaving as weirdly, but they are going slightly slower, I would say, than usual. Yeah, so that's something to watch. Keeping an eye on that. Where's the lightning grounding? Over by Australia. Where are the storms? They're over by Australia, Indonesia. We had a little bit of storming over by the Great Lakes and some snow. I think this is literally trying to show us where snow is on the ground now, potentially. Which is kind of interesting. But yeah, we've got some major cloud cover going on. Things are turning purple over here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. Look at this beautiful splash, though, of energy coming up and down from the north. Interesting, interesting, all the way down. Fascinating. Okay, so let's look at some more footage of the sun. So I told you seven hours ago we had one prominence, and here we go, 17 hours ago we had this guy. So another really big juicy prominence coming off the sun towards Saturn, I think, is the direction it was going, and multiple times that happened. And here's the footage of that one where all of that stuff is coming out again. So see how... There's like a double wave as well. It's interesting. So multiple of these prominences may have been coming out. We can look at the footage and just look at it and stare at it ourselves in a second here. I'm just showing you, just showing you the intensity. I don't normally see them quite this juicy, I would say. This had a lot going on and it was a very wide fan of plasma coming out a lot of matter. So again, that's going to be brushing past Earth tomorrow, um, the 13th it's going to be it's going to be hitting us we're going to be experiencing it and we've had a couple flares just on the limbs nothing too insane yet nothing crazy earth facing but literally so much mass is coming out of the sun and like i said this is not normal like this year i've not seen anything like it this year i'm seeing so much matter come out and that's to me it's not registering as something i'm normally seeing on these and i've been watching for about six years but i've been gradually incre increasing my knowledge of this whole thing over the time so i'm teaching myself as i go but i'm watching water levels rise a little bit over by new hampshire in a few places there was some water levels going up there was a derailment in brooklyn as well as new york and brooklyn and that area is still dealing with tunnels and yeah, basically the disclosure of secret tunnels underneath New York is happening and that discussion is definitely continuing. Colorado as well. Here's my horse gang over here showing me. 
energetically that Colorado is having some major energy come in and blanket the area with some cold, with some snow. I've had multiple star seeds, very powerful beings, two of them, reach out to me and have phone calls with me from the center of Colorado, basically over by Denver and so on in the last week. So I think Denver and Colorado in general, their guardians and so on are upgrading, they're updating, they're preparing for something. I have uh, a few beings to keep coming through to aid as well. Of course, Jesus Christ here in the Salvatore Monday keeps coming around where he's holding this crystal orb, this glass orb with a couple stars in there as well. It looks kind of like it might be a star map to me sometimes. And then of course we have we have Mike who's coming around all the time and sh hanging out with me now multiple times a day, checking it, checking it out, tr showing me stuff. What a complicated dude. And all the stuff they're saying about him is not quite right yet. Like there's still some things to be sorted out if you want to, if you know what I mean about history and what they were doing. So don't close the book on, don't close the case on that guy because I think there's more to come with his particular testimony even uh, beyond the grave and so on. So that's going to be interesting. We have the solar wind going up, it is 46 kilometers per second over the 400, which is supposed to be the average. We are getting some articles being like something might be coming because they're seeing all of these, these massive filaments coming off and wondering what the heck is going on with the sun. The cryptocurrencies are all kind of going up today. So there is some growth. Again, you see all that plasma come out of the sun and then more wealth appears on earth. It's plasma, you guys. That's the real money. It's the real money out there, I think. The solar wind incoming and outgoing, missing data, showing the impacts and the weirdness. Whenever you start feeling weird, I'd invite you to go to the real-time solar wind and just watch how they dance all these data points together because things just start getting so weird. Look at how many data points there are. It's just so intense. That's when you know, oh, I'm starting to feel weird. You start seeing stuff like this. You're like, okay the data is starting to get weird so i'm not the only one trust yourself a little bit actually we're the ones who built these machines don't forget so when we someone had to start feeling it to be like okay the machine is really getting it you know what i'm saying so we are all we are the fathers and the mothers of these machines don't forget and we're making them work for us we want to know when are we going to start feeling weird what time of day when our clients are starting to get real grumpy or icky or when people start piling into the emergency room or whatever it is, when all of your students or your 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 clients start having a fit, when everyone's famished, they're eating like crazy, they're so hungry they can't even think, that'll happen too. <laughs> you just have to eat because you just burned off a whole bunch of calories, bodying a, a wave of radiation. We're amazing creatures. I'll say it all all the time. Like we endure so much more than we really realize we're built to do it but i don't think we give ourselves the credit for it all the time and when it comes to our planet and how the impact kind of varies on our planet it's fun to watch even the geopolitical situation because i know where the solar flares have impacted and what should be happening based on that that physics that very very broad physics so <laughs> It's, I'm not thinking too hard, and I don't want you to think too hard. We're going to move through this new moon elegantly. Please join my Patreon if you haven't yet. I'd love to see you over there and send you these messages, let you know when things are going crazy. I'm going to be doing longer extended videos and storytelling stuff in the next few weeks as well on my channel so i'd be happy to have you please do subscribe here stick around hit the notification bell when you know i'm live leave a comment those of you on my instagram do the same thing please i'm going to do more live streams on my instagram to keep keep the good vibes going keep world peace 2024 well on its way i'm going to do my part to make that happen as I should, and as so you should as well, and I'm encouraging you to. So please spread the love, enjoy your day, enjoy 111, be good, and keep your cool. Don't let anything mess with your inner peace. And I'll see you very soon. I love you guys.